In less than five minutes, how do you start on YouTube? Well, is it profitable? Is it too late? In 2020? Well, let's find out. This is Photogenie. What comes to mind when you hear YouTube? Kaching money, cash, easy money. Everyone talks about it being quick cash, right? Well, we'll come back to that later in a more in-depth preview. Let's first get on YouTube. Before you break into your savings, you just need your phone and a YouTube account. So Google YouTube, you can be able to find that on Google. Go sign in or sign up. If you already have a Gmail account or an email account, you can be able to sign in to Google services and uh, sign in into YouTube. YouTube is owned by Google. If not, sign up for a Google account, which is as easy just as you sign up for your email. Once you finish signing up, log in. And from your YouTube top right, you can be able to see other tabs like your channel and uh, the YouTube studios which I'm going to get into more detail. So go to your YouTube studio. You can be able to see uh, your channel analytics and uh, whatever it is that you've uploaded and your recent subscribers. But the easy part is that you're able to see where you can be able to upload your videos. You can be able to go live. And once you do that, you're given the option of being able to upload your video which is much easier and once you upload your video that's it then the easy thing about youtube studio is that it has an audio library an audio library that has both free music and sound effects like this awesome background music you hear i got it from the audio library it has very nice sound effects as you're uploading your video you're able to fill in more details such as title description um, We'll talk about titles later on, but you can be able also to search on YouTube. You'll find a lot of content uh, on titles and how to title your videos. Also the description, especially if you have something more to say, things you want to relate to your subscribers and viewers. Um, thumbnails, a thumbnail is the caption that you see whenever you, you're browsing through videos. Is that image that you can be able to see as a preview for your video, which is also very important because a thumbnail is supposed to be captivating, also giving a bit of info of what your video is about. And yes, uh, the good thing about having an audio library is so that you don't have copyright claims, like you can see my video, but I've been able to solve that. You can also be able to see the video quality of what you're uploading, but right now don't mind about video quality. You just need to get on YouTube, you need to post on YouTube, you need to start posting on YouTube, so that should not be a worry. Once you go to the editor, which is really nice because you can just upload a video from your phone, and once you upload it to your phone, you can be able to trim and cut the portions that you don't like. You can also be able to add background music, you can add more videos, you can blur different parts. So this essentially means you don't need a laptop or a PC or a powerful computer or even to even edit your video on uh, any device. You can be able to do it from the browser itself. Remember, if you have a laptop or a PC and you can be able to juggle a few applications here and there, you can look into Adobe Premiere Pro. You can also look into Final Cut Pro. These are apps that I use whenever I'm editing my videos. I also use Adobe Photoshop whenever I'm editing my photos. I use Adobe Audition whenever I am recording my audio, like right now I'm recording my audio with Adobe Audition. And I started also delving into Adobe Premiere Elements. Um, I tried it for the first time. It has a few challenges, but it's less complicated than the Adobe Premiere Pro. Adobe Premiere Pro gives you quite a lot of effects and a lot of things and a lot of um, power on what you can be able to use to uh, edit your video. There's a lot of things that you can be able to use. Adobe Premiere Elements is guided and a bit uh, less uh, cumbersome and less complicated than Adobe Premiere Pro. But I did find an issue whenever you're doing auto ducking because with Adobe Elements you can do auto ducking and auto ducking it's really bad on Adobe Elements and really easy on Adobe Premiere Pro because you can do that automatically. The click of a button generate keyframes and you're good. There are also other mini applications that you can be able to use for editing your photos and video from your phone. 
Snapseed is available both for Android and iOS devices. It's really nice for editing your photos before you upload them. The second application uh, you can be able to use on your phone is Filmora. Filmora Go is both available in the iOS market and also in the Android uh, OS market. This is a free video editor. The third application is InShot. InShot Video Editor is both available also in the iOS uh, market and the Android OS market and you can be able to use that to edit your videos. And the fourth and final application is Adobe Premiere Rush. Uh, you can be able to find it also for Android and iOS devices and you're able to edit your videos uh, and just upload them directly to YouTube, Facebook, Instagram or whatever social media you're editing them for. Now it's almost four minutes, I have one minute to go so I say save your tips, save your ideas, save each and everything that uh, you already want to market and put out there or whatever it is that you're doing in your business and let's meet on YouTube and discuss profitability.